This is the so-called line of control in the disputed region of Kashmir. It's the unofficial border between neighbours and rivals India and Pakistan. Cross-border fire between armies from both sides escalated early on Thursday. Thousands of people have been caught in the middle. We have lost many cattle. Many poor people are fleeing this place. We are facing a lot of difficulties. Tensions flared between the two countries after India said it had carried out strikes on suspected fighters. It said they'd been preparing to move from Pakistan-administered Kashmir into parts of Kashmir under India's control. The op operations were basically focused to ensure that these terrorists do not succeed in their design of infiltration and carrying out destruction and endangering the lives of citizens of our country. Pakistan denies the Indian military operation happened at all and says India's military activities on the border are aimed at provoking Pakistan. India is trying to divert international attention and attention in its own country from the war crimes it is committing in occupied Kashmir, where more than 100 people have been killed. There was no surgical strike inside territory controlled by Pakistan. We want the international community to know that we are exercising maximum restraint. But if India continues with the kind of provocations that it has been engaged in, that Pakistan is ready to respond with all the capabilities at its command. If true, the strikes would be India's first direct military response to the attack on an Indian army base in Uri, close to the line of control on the 18th of September. 18 soldiers were killed. India blamed Pakistan and Prime Minister Narendra Modi warned at the time that those responsible would not go unpunished. Kashmir has been divided between India and Pakistan since 1947 and remains hotly disputed territory. It's fueled two wars between the two nuclear armed nations. These latest troubles threaten a ceasefire forged 13 years ago and the safety and well-being of civilians on both sides of the border. Many have already chosen to leave. Miriam Nahond, Al Jazeera.